here long enough, you know we are never really safe from severe weather. It's been just three weeks since our last tornado outbreak, and this week marked 16 years since another notable one. You're looking at the video behind me. Meteorologist Mario Ruiz explains why these December storms happen. There are not many tornado outbreaks during the month of December. The few that we have had have been large, including the one that happened on December 29th, 2006. That's when a total of 26 tornadoes formed in Texas, 22 of them touching down in North Texas. This outbreak produced the most tornadoes than any other winter tornado outbreak since 1948. While most of the twisters were rated lower than an F2, few had tracks measuring over 15 miles. And the weather pattern that allowed the twisters to develop had a few things in common with our most recent outbreak, an unseasonably warm and moist air mass from the Gulf of Mexico. The warm, moist air from the Gulf gets pushed inland, and that means our temperatures start to soar to warmer than what's considered normal for this time of the year. Whenever that happens, it creates the ingredients needed for tornadic activity. Moisture from the Gulf, instability, which is the heat from the Gulf, lift from a cold front that happens to move through, and wind shear. The wind shear happens when we have that strong surface wind from the Gulf, and then add in the cooler, drier air from whatever storm is coming in. That creates its rotation and updraft comes in and then starts to lift this, creating that tunnel. And that's how you see tornadoes form even during the month of December. Another reminder, we have to be on guard every month of the year.